This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. So Krishan's big sister Tessa was on Instagram Live today. And as we all know, she's been visiting Krishan and Krishan Jr. I mean Krishan Jesus. It's going to take me a while to get used to saying Krishan Jesus. So Tessa is in Oklahoma right now with her sister. And she, like I said, she was on live. This was a very long live almost an hour and a half. And we noticed that Tessa has covered up her head with a scarf and she explains why to the other ladies. They all sit down to a Bible meeting sort of teachings. They read the Bible. They talk about Bible related things. And her and Krishan pretty much, they minister to the people watching the live. I got the live for you guys. So you guys can check it out. Here it is. She's serious. She covering up her head. I like that. And she got mother's book of her. Mm -hmm. Do I do see that the other day? No, I never really understood the covering your head part, but I it's, in the it's covering your glory. And before you go before the Lord, you like you know it's the uh, you know how He don't see our sin. We're we're the angels, so you cover up your glory to be glorified. So I gotta get the scripture to read it to you all the way. It was my humble self. Like, 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 no. Uh, it's supposed to be a scripture in the Bible that says one who does not. I'll find it and give it to you guys. No, I saw it. I saw it. It's in the Old Testament. Yes, let God be magnified. God bless you all. God bless you. We're going to read. We're going to pray. God bless you. Y'all all my live with Tessa Malone, Krishan Rock Malone, Charlotte. Kiana. And Kiana. Kiki. What's the other baby name? Amani. Amani. So we're going to pray about everything and worry about nothing. What's up, Z-Banger, baby? And Tazana. And Tazana, the baby Tazana. Tazair. Tazair, also. So we all going to go before the Lord. We all going to pray about everything and worry about nothing. It's more prayer than worrying. It's more prayer than gossip. It's more prayer than anything. Let's get to it. Um, I'm grateful. Lord God Almighty is magnificent. Let us get our bodies, minds, souls together, encourage one another, and get with it. Because um, that's what this life is about. Nobody is perfect, but God Almighty is magnificent. He's the same today, tomorrow, and yesterday. And I want to be more like him than myself because my me, myself, is nasty. I don't want to be like that. So let us go before the Lord. We ask in the Lord to give us understanding of his word and that he allow it. His word to um, minister to our souls and that we'll be able to be the right women and men that he's calling us to be. So we got to read for our spirit and we have to pray so that we can continue to go forth. And we are going to read Ephesians. Krishan, you going to read what, mommy? Uh, I'm reading Ephesians. It's in the back I got my devotion. Okay, so Sean going to do her devotion and I'm going to do Ephesians six um verse 10 and then we're going to do psalms of today today is the first so we're going to do psalms um one that's a good one so we thank you so much lord god is everybody ready baby yes. girl over there like hold up y'all turn me over we thank you lord we thank you we thank you we thank you we thank you lord please just have your way because i wait on work lord god so many calls yesterday so many, just whatever. I'm not complaining. I thank you for all of it, oh God. May the Lord continue to bless the reading of his word. Ephesians 6, verse 10. The whole armor of God. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rules of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, I take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your lions girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. And your feet um, should with the pro the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to crunch all the fiery darts of the wicked. 
Y'all hear that? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And take the helmet of salvation. Take that helmet of salvation. I'm talking uh -huh. to you because I'm talking to me. Thank you, Lord. Allow me to take that helmet, oh Lord, right now. Yes, Lord. Praying always with all prayer and supplication. Praying always and prayer and supplication. Lord God, help us. In the spirit and watching thereunto with the perseverance and supplication for all saints, for all saints and for me, that utterance, bless, bless you, you, that may be given unto me, Thank that you. I may open my mouth boldly. Yes, Lord, boldly in the Lord, boldly in the Lord, y'all. Yes. To make known the ministry of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in bonds that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Lord, help me. We thank yeah. you so much. Sean, do you, you found yeah. yours? Yeah, you did. I'm, like, no, I'm going, I'm going to Ephesians. Where, where was that? Oh, I'm sorry, baby girl. Where, where Ephesians okay. 10. Where is it? Oh. Yeah, my one. My bad. Is it in the back? Look. It is. Uh, this is a nice one, y'all. Look at this. Glory. Yes, Lord. Mm-hmm. Let me, here we go, baby. 1509. All right, Ephesians. I'm going to read the same thing. All right, Sean is going to read the same thing from her Bible. And we thank you so much. And then after she do that part, we're going to go into Psalms 1 and then whatever else my baby going to read. We thank you and thanks for joining us, everyone. I pray that everyone um, get a, a relief, get a uh, their prayers answered. And the Lord grant whatever you may need and stand in need of and desire. The Lord is magnificent in spite of what we feel and go through every day. We're going to always go through something, but he is magnificent. Um, it's us getting through it and how we deal with it. And we're going to deal with it with standing on this word and standing on business with Lord God Almighty because he's the God of all gods. And he's the judge of all judge. And he's everything. I'm like, for real. I have to do nothing. You can talk all that Bugada Bugada. The Lord going to get you. All right, so Ephesians what? Um, six, verse uh, ten, ten through eight. Eighteen, ten through eighteen. No. Ephesians chapter ten. Oh, so I no no my bad y'all. Hold up, I was on Psalm just now. So it's uh, chapter six, verse ten through twenty. My bad y'all. Okay, I'll read the whole thing. Okay. Children, obey your parents because you belong to the Lord. For this is the right thing to do. Bless the readers of his word. Honor your father and mother. Honor, honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with the promise. If you honor your father and mother, things will go well for you. And you will have a long life on the earth. Mm. Um, I feel like um, people that don't have parents or that's orphans or whatever their situation is with their parents, um, you just honor whoever is in that position to give you guidance, love, and encouragement. And if you still seek and don't have that, you pray. Because the Lord take you up. Parents. When you don't because have he, parents. Yeah. He says that in the word. Yeah, yeah. he, he um, replace whatever you don't have. Mm -hmm. He just don't. And you have to just trust in the Lord. That's that's what's going on. And But fathers and mothers are the word of God. Because there could be family and fathers and mothers that's not something you can honor or go after but if you see your mom and dad going after the word of god and living by it yeah trust that if not it's okay you just you go where you can find it <clears throat> lord of god lord we thank you we thank you we thank you lord we love you lord we acknowledge you you are magnificent lord god let it continue boy. And then it's, and then God it says it for our kids, but He also said the parents. Yeah, He says some to the parents too. Don't provoke your child. Go ahead. Things will go well for you, and you will have a long life on earth. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger by the way you treat them. Rather, bring them up with the discipline, instructions, and comes forth from the Lord. Yeah. So a lot of times, your parents is not perfect. You know what I'm saying? So forgiveness should always be in your heart. Um. We're all not perfect, but if we stay close to the word of God as much as we can, you know. It'll get there. Yeah, it will get there. Um, get closer every day. Mm -hmm. So Paul directed both parents and children to show love towards one another. Children are honor to honor their parents. Like, it's an honor for me to love you, love you. Entitlement, though, has nothing to do with honor. 
Okay, honor is a definition. What, let me see. Somebody go. Good looking. That's why we need that dictionary. We're going to Barnes and Noble today. Um, so I just have it. Break it down, Lord. Honor. I like this Bible too because it's in the, the New English version, so it's kind of like easier to understand. High like respect, great, thing? greatest thing. You know, high respect. Mm -hmm. Um. The whispered, the widespread disrespect shown towards parents to, today leads to deep emotional scars, both in parents and children. Paul also warned parents to treat their children with love and respect. Through ridicule and neglect, parents can create resentment that may scar their children for life. Whether we are parents or children who have failed, we need to admit our failures and seek to make amends wherever possible. Just point blank period. Mm -hmm. Reconcile, reconcile. Thank you, Lord. Here go, Papa. Come in, come in. Come in. Lord, we thank you. Let that minister to your spirit while we take a little breather. Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. That's Ephesians. Fear also, our fear, break that down with fear. Like, we shouldn't be trembling in our voice, but it's the, the high respect, the honor, the love. It's like how, how we are honor and love our man's. Or you know what I'm saying? Like you can't, you can't serve two masters. Mm -hmm. You can't serve two masters. You can't. That's another. Yeah. Song. I saw this video and it said, "Um, being with God is like being in a relationship. Literally, like you, if you, that's what every I mean. time you sin, mm -hmm. it's like you're cheating on him. But mm -hmm. the difference is, he's always gonna take you back. Mm -hmm. But it still hurts him. So yeah. if you really love God, the same way you love your partner, you're not gonna keep to you to do things to hurt them mm -hmm. when you really love them. So you gotta treat your relationship with God like it's a real relationship." Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, that's deep. Okay, Kiana. You can't, cheat, you can't cheat on God. Every time you sin, you cheat He's on a God. jealous God. Yeah. You, it's you. said in the word. Finish yeah. reading, okay, mommy. Yeah. Gotta see which relationship is stronger with God or sin. Okay. But we may firmly grow in sound doctrine, accept our responsibility, and live godly lives. We must be aware of the fierce, unseen warfare safe Satan wages against us. This is just the notes. What is about to follow up, what I'm about to read. Um, what wage war against us? Many of our struggles with... Uh, dependencies can be result of direct attacks by spiritual enemies. So anything that we're into more than God, like any addictions of relation, anything that's outside of God, mm -hmm. um, is an addiction. Honestly, like we have an addictive uh personality to cater to something. Uh, I don't know. What do you do to things that you're addicted to? You spend so much time with it that it consumes you. So if we spend so much time with God and consume and he can see us, the word of God just fall upon us. It's just like, it's very like, if we just switch the directory of... The Lord, addiction that we have for stuff that's not good for us and give us to God Almighty, everything will fall into place. Yeah. Be addicted much. to God Almighty. Feeding yourself, feeding your spirit with his word. Mm -hmm. Ministering to others. It's, uh, telling them about your testimony, how mm -hmm. you have grown, where you have come from. The things you used to do four years ago, you're not doing anymore. The things that you learned from the word that you endure. And express that to someone else that don't have like everyone that's been on my in my DM or in my sister DM asking for prayer. Some people really need that, so I enjoy going on my live sharing my devotions with you, a part of my devotions with you. Even though I have my relationship with my God Almighty, it does something for someone else. It's not for me. Yes, I need you guys. As far as us praying. Well, for the sake of time, we're gonna end it Dang, what I was gonna say is food for the spirit, fun fact. Yeah, it was a fun fact, but dang, I just lost it. Um, I didn't want to cut it off. Um, disobedience is a source of delay. Mm -hmm. So we often try to go places, we're often trying to be great in certain areas in our life, but we're not really following how we're supposed to follow, we're not really talking how we're supposed to talk, we're not really living how we're supposed to live. Mm -hmm. So it delayed us from the promise that God has already ordained over our lives. The promise land. Mm. Yeah. You said like Terrence, no. Terrence, promise land publishing. That's that, my big brother. Yeah, mm. that's what he always said, Lord Jesus. And your promise land has all to do with the people that's assigned to you. That yeah. relationship, those people, your kids, um, your friends. Uh, okay. And then they say, could be, so many of our struggles with the addictions could be a result of direct attacks by spiritual enemies. Since we continue to struggle with dependencies that once rendered us powerless, we need to admit our inability to manage our lives. Then as we turn our lives and 
wills over to God, we will stand with us in a, in the battle. And it's so funny because um, consecration it just popped up to me for for because when I was in jail, um, consecration was pretty much like being cut off from any type of music, uh, using the phone, like people conversations, um, fogginess. Like yeah, you you may want to hit a. Yeah, you may want to indulge in that conversation because it's um, it's a vent session, or y'all can just go forward in the word of God. Just just because like consecration, consecration, it's all that is like fogginess and noise in the spirit. Just be talking daily, like the Holy Spirit. I replace the name Holy Spirit as your best friend. Mm. Um, he he reminded you of things that you already know. Like okay, say if we read the word, or someone read the word to you when you was a kid. Mm-hmm. Um, say you read the word, you don't even understand, but your Holy Spirit knows exactly what you read. So mm-hmm. that's a tool and a weapon that the Holy Spirit will use to go forward in strength to guide you for real. Um, he will put, he will put you, he will put you, his Holy Spirit and his word will put you all the way on. Like, okay, we're going out the door, but we're ready for whatever. And not in a way of, oh, you know, like the, the flesh way, but in a spiritual way. You just be on tune. Yeah, because like, you're wearing sports you're non-stop, let's go. Let's go. non-stop. Yeah. Let's go. So. Like, um, mm-hmm. I want to say things, but it offend uh, whatever I'm going through. I wait till I'm not in uh, the state of Oklahoma. But things will happen, and what I do is, I will let the spirit tell me move. Like things would be like, yeah, you got to do that, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do this, and say this and say that. I didn't hear none of that, so I'm not gonna say none of that. Mm-hmm. And then like, thank you, Lord. It's like a obedience mechanism, that, like tool I've been using because we'll do so much, but really all we had to do was wait on the word, mm-hmm. God. Wait on the like. I don't know. It's just so funny. Like, um, I really want to tell tell y'all what's going on. Lord, right, keep on reading. Keep they want to read, know that. But it's so good. But um, because I woke up from my nap. It's like all right, Ephesians. 6. It's like all right, all right. Let's use the story. Not my story yet, but I'm gonna wait till I get. I'm going. Okay, Jesus was uh in the. He, he was sound asleep and it was like a, a crazy storm going on and everybody panicking, doing things. Oh, blah, 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 blah. We're right. going to do this. We're going to, we're going to die. And then they can't, Jesus fell asleep peacefully and they waking him up and it, and he's like pretty much, um, where's your faith? Well, how, how do you have so much he little faith? He like, was dead in the spirit. Yeah. Not like that, but like we woke up silence, like. Just to, you didn't even really have to wake him up in a hurry. Like, he know what's going on. Mm-hmm. You were supposed to go to join and sleep with him. And then if you wake him up, then y'all all get woken up. Now, it's kind of like that in a way. Like, when he woke up, he silenced the storm. Mm-hmm. And then they, and they realized, oh, he the lords yeah. of all lords that even though he could control the wind and all this other stuff. And you can tell, like, um, we underestimate God who he really is. Like, we'll be with him, straight lose faith. Straight lose, like... Are cool because we're like, well, uh, yeah, you can't handle the storm. Lord God Almighty can. Yeah. So you act like it's not happening as if he, like, he, he sleep, peace, like, gone. You know what I'm saying? And we have to be in that peaceful. Panicking is like being dead and your, your spirit is dead. Your spirit is dead. You're not feeding it. You're not on point. You're not in tune with, like, okay, they doing all of that. And the Lord God Almighty is asleep. No, no, no. You, you got to be just in tune with God Almighty and nothing else. Your flesh is weird. You said totally that too. Weird. Worrying is worshiping the problem mm-hmm. instead of just having faith that God's gonna work it out. Mm-hmm. Praying about everything and worried about nothing. There we go. Praying about mm-hmm. Caesar. That's the message today. Mm-hmm. All right. Struggles and dependencies. Saying. Then, as we turn our lives and wills over to God, we will stand with. He, He will stand with us in the battle. So, when, as we turn our lives and wills over to God, He wait for that invitation. He's not gonna just barge in. Um, he didn't like a he lot of things we choice. do. Yeah, a lot of things we do. Will. We'd be like, "Oh yeah, God, thank you, Lord." Da da da. Thank you, Lord. Da da da. Or we we think it's the Lord when really it's a test. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like a integrity thing. Like it's a test. Like all right, say if a uh, hundred dollars in a wallet was met. Oh Lord God, it's a hundred dollars. Or thank you could you just Jesus. go return it and and then you show the integrity that God is God. Um, you show the will of God. And he would have, like, you know, flooded. And a lot of things we kind of be like, oh, that's God. It's really not God. Like, we go in a relationship. And then then we want to pray when it get wrong. But you're supposed to pray before you even got in that relationship. Or or in that deal. Or, or like, you were supposed to wait on a yes or a no. If it's like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, a lot of times we just move too fast. And then we want to invite God when it's too late. 
It's yeah. never too late for him, but you get what I'm saying. All right. That was a good Thank message. you, Lord. Thank you. Uh, slaves obey your earthly masters with deep respect and fear. Serve them sincerely as you would serve Christ. Try to please them all the time, not just when they are watching you. As slaves of Christ, do the will of God with all your heart. Work with enthusiasm as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. Mm. Remember that it's funny because I think he just, there's not, I think, I know. It's like, it's another scripture that say he's not your slave's master, he's your friend. So it's not contradictory, it go hand in hand. It's a different scripture, but. Um, the title says this though, masters and slaves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Say and I said slaves and masters. Mm -hmm. I say slaves and masters. So um, I, I pretty much, I, he's pretty much like, like, look, you you go all out for that one thing, that one person, but can't even have the same energy to work in that type of fear and love and ownership for the Lord. So he's saying, do the same thing you'll do for something that you'll put your life on the line for. Yeah. Because cause why? Like, why not? You put your life on the line for things that you're not even supposed to be mm -hmm. trusting in. Mm -hmm. People, places, and things. There's really? nothing wrong with it. It's just like, try that out with God. That's pretty yeah. much what the word is saying. Like, try that out with me. Shoot. Exactly. Like Remember that the... Oh, go ahead. Like when, you know, you get invited to a party or you get ready for a club, you go get your outfit done, you go get your nails done, you go get your hair, you get your lashes. Do the same thing like that. Like you, if it was God, prepare yourself just for God. Get in your word, get your prayer cloth, get in your prayer room. Just stay involved with God. The closer you get to God, the louder his voice becomes. Because I know a lot of people feel like they may not hear him. Yeah, but so the I got, you get. To add on what she said, I got two devotionals, yeah. a Bible that I understand. And they got lashes. And like then, um, my lashes, but... <laughs> Yeah, it's like you get ready for the word of God mm -hmm. just to endure it. I got my notebook. Yeah, keep that same energy. You keep the same energy, pretty much. Okay, picking up with what I put down the other day. Yeah. Because they came to the table, which is funny because we all came to the table with something. Yeah. But I had like my whole kit, my starting kit. Like how I'm going to out to, like if I was to go out to a party, I'm going to have my lashes and my makeup done. I came to the table with my study book, my devotionals, my Bible. Yeah. And it, was, it wasn't like um I'm looking at my homegirls and like, okay, we need to go to Barnes & Noble today. Yeah. We need to go get y'all some lashes for the word. We need to go get <laughs> yeah, uh, a new outfit, the new nails for the word. Like the Don't things that, and, that, you know, that help you. That highlight mm -hmm. the beauty of God, just like yeah. how we highlight ourselves just to go out. Amen. Same thing. Yeah. Just have the same energy. Same spirit. Same yeah. spirit. Right. Not energy. That's in the word, too. Yeah. Same spirit. Yeah. Uh, I just advise for everybody to stop using astrology. Oh, we can. Y'all can talk about signs all y'all day, y'all. It's not in the word of God, so just try to stay away from it as much as possible. People are like, oh, yeah, you're Pisces, you this, you that. All right. Enough of that word scrapped. Mm -hmm. But, um. Hey, okay, baby. Put him over here with um, baby two, here. baby. Go, go, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, okay. Yeah. Baby. G, baby. G baby, G baby, <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs> um, okay. Remember that the Lord will. Okay. Work with enthusiasm as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. Remember that the Lord will reward each one of us for good we do, whether we are slaves or free. Masters, treat your slaves in the same way. Don't threaten them. Remember, you both have the same master in heaven, and he has no favorites. For real, any position you play in a role in your life, don't be entitled that you have to go forward or be hands-on more than another person. Cause y'all all play a role, and then yeah. in God's eyes, He don't favor nobody. That's mm -hmm. why I take accountability of everything or whatever I've been through. Because it's like the more I keep pointing fingers, um, the only finger that God is pointing at me is myself. Because yeah. I, I wholeheartedly didn't trust and love myself enough to know God is the only one we can trust and love for us <coughs> to be effective in anybody's life or anything. Because He's He's the Mega Almighty, so it's like if we can't even um influence that principality and that serious that that city or that relationship or, or like it's it has all to do with you what's what's working inside of you like it's no pointy fingers like you say he don't have no favorites y'all both play a pro part of the problem mm -hmm. so if you're going to be be the it's one body of christ we all be the what of, of the problem the the, the, the solver Not the, the god is the problem solver but what you do what motive i'm asking we, I do my job. I, I, I play my position. 
and who I'm supposed to be far as God Almighty mm -hmm. and being a part of my life. You got to do your job. Like, you go to work every day. Your position is a nurse. You are RN. You got to do your part of an RN. You are artist. You do your part as an artist. You follow me? Yeah. So we have to do our part as God Almighty's children. As long as it's in the will of God and it's for the glory of God. Our will yeah. don't work. Yeah. Like, at all. A final word will be strong in the Lord. The, a final word, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. But all, but on all God's armor. Mm -hmm. Put on all God's armor. <laughs> we used to, I did this in jail. This is a girl in breastplate. What's it? Breastplate of righteousness. What is the, the, the helmet, name? The helmet, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness. <laughs> yeah. It was this, it was like, it was this, uh, the some girl like, yeah, cause you know, she's gonna do this and do that and do this. And then Vanessa was just like, girl, I got this one. <laughs> she said everything. She said the helmet of what? Helmet of salvation. salvation breastplate. But it was so funny. She did it so quick. It was like, I'm like, I'm good. Like, I got my armor on. But yeah. Make make funny jokes that bring life into your life. Like yeah. that's the other thing that I also quit. So what has a sense of humor? He yeah, he has a sense of humor through the word of God. Um, try not to be like joke so much. Like oh, you just killed me with that. Mm -hmm. Or just say you just funny. You know, like yeah, just come up with better I'm ways to be like, funny. Be like I'm dead. No, don't say that. I'm yeah, alive. I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like because we have life and death on our tongue. So a lot of times we speak a lot of death over us mm -hmm. because it became a comedy, mm -hmm. and that's how the enemy works. He try. To manipulate through the cracks. Don't leave no cracks open. Right. And then you know all of these cracks that's open and all in the Protect your gates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um put on all the armor. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood, enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of unseen world, mm -hmm. against mighty powers. In this dark world, That's against what's going on evil today. spirits in the heavenly places, yeah. heavenly places, heavenly places. It's, I, I feel like heavenly places is everywhere you show up, right? Yeah, especially if your heart's so, in the right place. You, God's everywhere. Wait, he is, down. but it's like your intentions in your heart, mind, and soul. It, it's like okay. Say if I like say if I go to a club, right? And I'm just in my word and my spirit, right? I'm not I'm not drinking. I'm not really, like, listening to the music. But I start seeing people that's, like, really cut short. If I could just read to them and work. I don't know. Fellowship in everywhere you go. It's like a heavenly place for your heart, mind, and soul. And then, okay, yeah, the heavenly places. Because um, God blessed everywhere we go. So if we can't influence what the word of God is, nine times out of ten, we have no business being there or just, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. fellowship there. Um right. I don't know. It was a lot of times I was at different places that I wouldn't even know that I'll be talking about the word mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. it. Yeah. She probably, but. but when I, I like that, because they started talking about it later on in the verse, it says, Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may stand firm. Stand there for having fastened your belt of truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness and the shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. So that was the helmet of salvation, the best part of Because I guess it's heavenly places like everywhere, but it's always going on. That's why you got to stay in tune. So yeah. you be ready for whatever. The right way, though. Yeah. You don't have to do anything incorrectly. The Lord will, he will deal with all of it. The good, the bad, and his time. And, and then he will give you the strength in order for you to go through whatever it may try to come at your way. All the obstacles. But we have to trust and believe in him and keep the faith and keep on moving forward. Not to give up. Don't don't give that flesh what it wants. Ain't that right, G baby? Good morning. Say so, read the word with us. Morning kisses. Okay. You gonna finish reading? Yeah, yeah. Time? Therefore, put on every piece of God an armory so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. When after the battle, after the battle, you will stand, will be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body of armor of God's righteousness for the shoes. Put on the peace that comes from the good news so that we will be fully prepared. Because good times don't last forever, but God mm. is the great news. You feel me? Mm -hmm. It's just like, all right. It's, it's like the news. Like, all right, we'll watch the news, right? Sorry, it's like things dropping on me. So, uh... We watch the news and, you know, it said don't hang out on 55th Street. There was not hang out, but there's this and that that happened. Like somebody 
and died on 55th Street, but that's where y'all always hang out at, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like you saw it on the news and you still would go to that place just to be harmed. So it's like the word of God will prevent us from being anywhere. Sorry. Like it's just like, it's like what's true? What's the news? Like it's like, it's like. The flesh want to see all the dumb stuff. Yeah, I use, I use sin. It. Yeah, I use sin, the, 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 the name sin as like good times. Cause good times don't last forever. So we'll be so wrapped up in a good time. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. You just just be good. The good news is the gospel. Uh, believing that Jesus is Lord and uh, following and surrendering. Uh, you know, all that shebang in the bag of chips. So the good news is so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fairy arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet to take the sword of the spirit, which is, which the, is word the word of God. Of God. Pray in the spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers and everywhere. And pray for me, too. Ask God to give me the right words so I can boldly explain God's mysterious plan that the good news and the Jews and the Gentiles alike. I am in chains now, still preaching this message as God's ambassadors. So pray that I will keep on speaking boldly for him as I should. It's so funny because when I was locked up, right? It's like been in a consecration situation like that. I was on the phone every time I caught somebody, I had a word of God to give them. And mm-hmm. I was just boldly speaking to them like, so well, I'm going through like, well, I'm just like <laughs> so much in the word is so cut off from the world. It was like a beautiful testimony. And then this, this chapter is basically what Peter, Paul, no, this is Paul. Um, and he's in I just feel like it's just cool. It's in the Bible. So, um, let's thank you. I'm speaking boldly for him as I should, as we all should. So lately, um, I just speak, I've been speaking boldly, but I only been speaking boldly because I feel like, um, okay, this is the one thing I always used to talk about God a lot and stuff like that, but my life never really added up to the point where I could not really, um, sit on live and just read the word to you because, I wasn't a hypocrite. It's just like, it's not honorable for you to actually receive it. So now that I'm, I made this trajectory of changing my life and surrendering, it's like, I feel a sense of freedom to speak boldly about God because why not? Because yeah, I'm yeah. living it and it's yeah. honorable now that it won't come off as blasphemy or hypocritical. Yeah. So um, it's a lot of us that we want to do boldly, but it's on your spirit to be like, yeah, you know, we always want to give God thanks. But like yeah. now it's like, I'm speaking so boldly about him. That I got that permission to do so because I wasn't mm-hmm. at first. Mm-hmm. And then when mm-hmm. I did try to speak boldly about him, I was so lukewarm to the point where, like, you know, weapons that was thrown against me was prospering. Mm-hmm. And it was only prospering and to sharpen me internally with the word of God. So it was just like, all right, we got 77,000. You got to set. The baby got to set. Everybody got to set at 77,000 angels. If your angels move out that way just for that weapon to prosper in your life, it's because it's, it, it's only, pro- you yeah, but it's only Imagine. teaching you something because. Um, he's okay. Oh, um, he's only teaching you something because it's like I don't know. It's, it's what they say about a righteous man that fell, fall seven times and he get up. But he, uh, a man falls seven times, but he get back up. Um, so that's seven times seven. Seven yeah. times seven, 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 seven. seven. seven, seven, seven. seven you can up, get, you can get up. My thing with that to piggyback of what you're saying. Now, this is how I feel. With me falling on the same thing, keep on going through the same thing, that's no good. I don't want to keep falling and doing the same thing. I don't want to feel like um, the Lord is not who he is. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to take advantage of that. And I can only speak for me. I can't judge anyone, but y'all know the truth of your own selves and people. You can't judge no one. I've I've fallen several times and I felt like crap like that. Oh, shoot. Why did I? You know what I'm saying? Like. It's great to work on work on working out your own salvation. And it's great also to ex- self examine examinate yourself mm. so that you can be greater for yourself and for someone else. Because you trying to yep. okay walk in God Almighty, but you over there talking about that person, that person, that person, doing all that goofy stuff. Like there's something mm-hmm. going on with the blogs and how people misscrewed the Malones or whatever. Just use that for an example. Um, that's that's not cool. But guess what? I'm not mad about it. I'm going to pray about it mm-hmm. and keep moving forward. I'm not going to. Um, what I say, mommy, yesterday, um, you, I'm not about to feed that spirit mm-hmm. and give it what it Don't wants. Because like I said, this nasty flesh, is, my flesh is disgusting. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to feed that. I'm going to feed my Holy Spirit so that I can so I can uh, deal with it the right way. Instead of me keep on falling, I'm going to go back to jail. Yeah, you crap on this have, person. No. You have to have 
faith that God's power is willing to work over their lives for them to change. So right. don't count anybody out, even how weird That's why I pray how for bad them. they went mm -hmm. or how they came off with the perception deceived them and they... I don't know. They offended everybody. Forgive the whole them. entire world. Uh, yes, forgive God them. God don't look at that. God don't look what they did. Like, oh my God, he look just as much as you lying. Mm -hmm. It's just as bad as you no, killing no, eighty no. people. Like I know, sin I know, is sin. sin is sin to God though. So we can't really look at somebody in a position or a place where it's like they the worst person ever to this world. God looking as bad as is if she's gossiping or. That's misleading i don't know it's just like anybody like it, it's just nothing out like you say i'm All sins are i'm not favorable yeah the Lord. Let me one more. and Let it's me crazy because i had a vision yeah. and yeah like i had a dream about that message but that's another day and um, I, I want to piggyback off what you said though about falling because god will allow you to fall until you learn your lesson so if you keep having the same problem over and over god will allow you to keep it in your head until you get it and then once you do get back up you're gonna fall again but it's gonna be a new lesson so it's like you have to be able to receive that message because it's always it's a message always through every a every message through every trial you go through. Yeah, Amen. Good. Okay, Amen. Kiki, you getting better. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Okay, <laughs> Imani, what you got? Because <laughs> um, Shawna said something. Do she be back? Um, girl, what you saying about um, when somebody else don't don't lead? Like if you can't get somebody else to get to God, don't judge them and all that. Because uh, judging people is evil too. That's saying you're not supposed to judge another yeah. person. Rather, just uh. Try to judge lead yourself. them to judge. Yeah. The word say, judge yourself and you will not be judged. Judge yourself and you will not be judged. Yep. Okay. So yeah, is that that's just like praying for them, right? Just pray yep. for them and mm -hmm. then just hope that the Lord bless them or fix them how you want them to be fixed. That's yeah, but I mean, I, I prophetically believe they will be fixed. They will be fixed. Like my mom, there's no signs of fixing, right? There's no signs of fixing in a lot of people's lives that struggle from addiction. Mm -hmm. But if you really just truly believe, what do you just Ooh. believe? It's gonna yeah. happen. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Me, it's not yeah, like yeah. Right. I believe so hard. Like, mm -hmm. like I just see all of us just in at one table, yeah, just crying right. and mm -hmm. loving on each other because now nobody's missing from that table. Not a brother, not a sibling, not a sister. They all we all gonna be sitting at that table mm -hmm. in unity with love and like yeah, we have all these things in our heart, but we're just gonna be so happy at that table, like just happy. I just, I just really love my family wholeheartedly, um, and I just believe. Amen. I believe. So um, Jagger, let's go. Thank I believe. You, Lord. Um, Finish your scripture. But you know, time to have his time, in. and okay. I just encourage all of our family to just get in the word so we can just be in complete harmony in the line. Because your blessings, as much as it's like, all right, I'm in the front of the line, right, and it's like. Petey's in the front of the line, honestly. I'm going to just put my brother there. He's in the front of the line, right? I'm not worried about that. I'm behind him because he's going to sign me up whatever's on the paper and I can just go home because hey, PD, can you put my name down? All right, you don't know who's in front of you to put your name down. So it's like siblings and families is fighting positions and places and things. You don't know who's actually in front of you. With God Almighty. Yeah. yeah. Like, you don't even have to do the hard work. All you had to do was show up with your shortcomings and, and surrender else. like with a good heart. And in the Bible, because I was in jail, not to cut you off, I was in jail, right? And um, my homegirl, she's my bunkie, she's in the back, but it was two other girls that I fellowship, they cut the line, whatever, right? So my bunkie started tripping, like, hey, don't be cutting the line. I'm like, I'm right here, bunkie, I'm gonna just put your paper, I'm gonna just put your name on the paper, don't trip. That's easy, don't trip. Yeah, they wasn't supposed to cut, like God did with them who cut it. You don't worry about who got in the front of the line, just know who was in front of the line for you, was for you. So it was just like when I seen that happen, I got a, a word from it. Like mm. every, like it's like it's, it's like all these relationships, things that happen to me becomes like actually signs. Mm. Um, we could break it down, bend it backwards in the word. Like we don't have to add or take from. Like you know, from the word of God, it's what it is. But it's just so cool to just be in this space. Like whoa, whoa, what God is? It's, it's just a heavenly place just hovering around you, just all day long, even with your. Somebody calling your phone. Ah, ah. It's a word on that phone. It's a, ah, like I'm looking at everything as for what <laughs> it is. Cool. So That's it's so beautiful. Um, that just goes about the the statement in the Bible, or the verse in the Bible that talks about whoever's first shall be last, and whoever's last shall be first. That just means that it's 
you know, we don't worry about who is in front of us, like Shawnee was saying, because we're going to be there one day. And you're also supposed to just praise them and worship them and just not worship them, but praise them and just congratulate them for their position. Because you, you could be like, right. it's about standing in place. Yeah. Yeah. So, standing before the Lord as a soldier, standing in place, knowing you're what you're calling. Your calling is something different from her calling. My mm-hmm. calling is something from her calling. But it's but we're all, all in harmony. We're all, all connected. Yeah. It's all together. We're all connected. We're all in harmony. We're all, we all serve a father. Mm-hmm. We're all sisters and brothers in Christ. Mm-hmm. So what, what makes you think that whatever's on your plate and her plate is not mine too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'm not entitled to know that. I just know what comes with faith. Yeah, this is cool. Um. Okay. While we firmly grounded in the sound of doctrine and accept our responsibility to live godly lives, we must be aware of fierce and unseen warfare Satan wages against us. Many of us struggle with... Okay, that's another one. That's another note. Let me... Notice that each piece of God's armor, except the sword, is defensive in nature. As we're covering anything, our, anything that we depend on, our shortcomings, we need to improve our conscious contact with God to know him better and to surround ourselves with truth, righteousness, faith, and prayer. Like-minded individuals, pretty much. Yeah. These will protect us against the assaults of hostile spiritual forces. The forces arrayed against us are powerful, but the weapons God gives us are inadequate for our defense. Mm. The word, prayer, oh, that's all weapons. Mm. Fasting. Fasting. Obedience. Practice patience, Sacrifice. knowledge, and understanding. Uh, Sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like um, Pastor Mike Todd was saying, receipts. Um, you gonna, It's basically off of uh, what you act like, for real, for real. Like, what, yeah. who, self-control, mm-hmm. love, kindness, goodness, yeah, right here. Joy. humility, joy, mm-hmm. like faithfulness, gentleness, love, joy, peace, patience, yeah. goodness. Yeah, like when he was, when, when before God was on the cross, he was like, Lord God. Forgive them. They don't know no better for real. Uh-huh. That's how we got to talk well, about everybody. Them, they know not what they do. Yeah, they know not what they do. You know, <laughs> they don't know no better, pretty much. Even if they did know better, they ain't, they ain't do they ain't do better to they not need. Better. They just didn't do better, and that's on them because they didn't. That's yeah, in them. Yeah, yeah. That's just that's in. Well, we forgive them because they yeah. know not what they do. They, they know not what they do. What? <laughs> pretty much. That's all. That's it. They know not what they do. Even when you say they know what they doing. No, 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 they don't. They don't. They don't know no better. That's, that's false. That's, that's why false. me can't get mad. Just go pray for you. Me go pray for you. I mean, I worry. <laughs> me go cry. It's not even for the Lord. He going to do his work. Amen. He going to do his work. Hallelujah. 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 Ah. <laughs> I said, boom. Salah. Mm-hmm. Shalom, shalom. Perfect peace. Mm-hmm. Yahweh. 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 There's only one way in this guy way. Took my baby saying. <laughs> um praying all the time and believing. Lord, we thank you. G baby. G baby hot, y'all. Please. Please. Uh, you hot? Yes, she is. I know she is. <laughs> I'm over here clamming. That's how I do get hot. The Lord is cleansing us, y'all. The Lord is cleansing. We're getting hot over here. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Lord, for every person on my life. Hallelujah. Yeah, you got your knees got to hurt for the Lord God Almighty. Put another pillar down there. What? Put another pillar down there. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Pray in the spirit all the times and over every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. And pray for me to ask God to give me the right words so I can boldly explain God's mysterious plan. That the good news in, is for the Jews and Gentiles alike. I am in chains now, still preaching this message as God's ambassador. Okay, ambassador. Can you look that up? What, ambassador? Uh huh. You got your phone? No. You got that? Let me see. Ambassador. ambassador. Ambassador is like a representation. They represent something. That's the mission. He did. Ambassador. It's my cut. Hey, 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 hey
Yeah, he do. You just not. He can't push it yeah, because he's a baby. You want it? He said, leave me alone. Yeah. Okay, why are you crying? He's cool. not crying. He's talking. He's like, oh, he's <laughs> well, bring him over here with the baby. No, bring him over here. So he's talking G-bye, babe. Lord, we thank you for your word. Yes, Lord. Thank you for this word. Amen. Thank you that we can have time with you, Lord God. We can read your word, Lord God. And you love us so much. We just thank you that you love us, Lord. I, Shana hates me, y'all. I can't believe you. It's a person who acts as a representative or promoter of something. It's a, trans- trans- it's a translator. Please. I know what ambassador is. I just want to hear it again. Uh, so, like, you know, like we're ambassador of clothing brands and get paid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You represent it. Right? So, so be an ambassador of the Lord. Lord. So you represent Yeah, and he really Lord. pays for gifts. To, not like that. We're not doing it for the pay. It's just it's crazy. You still be rewarded when you act. Yeah. Lord, yeah. The Lord will reward you secretly. Mm-hmm. Secretly. And they say, don't boast about. Um, about. What did he say at church? Was it mercy or um, grace, salvation? The stuff that you get, right? Stuff that you get that you don't that deserve. You didn't earn. That's the grace. Grace. He said, "Don't boast about grace." About the stuff that you receive because you did not earn it. Like you didn't work for it. God just blessed you. No, he, it was another word for. I don't yeah. understand, but he said something else. He said, "Don't be boastful about like the gifts that you receive from God because you didn't do anything to earn it. Like your good deeds, you were not rewarded for your good I deeds. Know you know about. what I'm saying? Yeah. It basically was saying, don't do the good deeds to expect your to own expect. Words. Yeah. And then don't the boast words. about them when you mm-hmm. do yeah. receive. Yeah. So you don't do it to to because oh let me be good because I know God's gonna bless me. You yeah. do it just like you you're not supposed your to let the, the world right know position. or no one know about your fast. It's a secret between you and God Almighty. Right. Okay, so secretly rewarded and a secret between your fast. Okay. No, it was good. No, it's just you like, can put it back where it is at. Just yeah, yeah. Just pull it back like yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You fix it. Right there. Oh, same thing. It's just the <laughs> position of the blanket. Come back down here again. These ain't me. All right. What's next? I'm gonna do they Psalms. I'm gonna do Psalms on one, okay. and yeah, then yeah. somebody else is gonna read something. Okay. Else. Look. No, we ain't done. I'm oh, so finished, bro. To bring mm-hmm. you update, to, to give you full report about what am I enduring, how am I getting along? He is a beloved brother and father and helper in the Lord's work. I have spent time to you for very purpose to let you know what we are doing and to encourage you. Peace be with you, dear brothers and sisters, and may God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ give you love with faithful. Yes. May God grace be eternity upon all who love our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So y'all want to get a rundown of that too? Go ahead. Break it down. Break it down. Hello. You break it down. Hey, amen. I'm my bad. I'm doing Bible study. I love you. I'm just about to like uh, read this one more note. Um. I guess it's this one. Huh? It'll be the last one. It's the country center. Oh, you get your phone though. The baby. What'd you say? Oh, yeah. I was. I just got done reading uh, Romans chapter 6, and then we was breaking it down. It was pretty much talking about. Um... God's way. Yeah. God's <laughs> way. What'd you say? Yeah, it went great. I want to see your pictures. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so I'm going to read Psalms, Psalms um, yeah. one. Yeah. My apologies, y'all. Um, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doeth he meditate day and night. In his law doeth he meditate day and night, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are are not so, but are like the chief, which is the wind, driveth away. 
Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. We thank you, Lord. Amen. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. In Psalms 3. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. Salah. Thou, but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, the shield. Yeah. That's the, the armor, okay? Glory. And the lift up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, yeah. And he heard me out of this holy hill. Salah. I laid me down and slept. I awaked for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth to the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Salah. Amen. Lord, we thank you. What are you reading, uh, Master? Um, I wanted to thank talk you, about Jesus. um Proverbs. So Proverbs has 31 books. Amen. And today is October 1st. And it's a good way to, for those that are beginning the Bible, Proverbs is a good book to start in. And would it be in 31 days in um, the month of October? And you should start with Proverbs 1 and tomorrow read Proverbs 2 and on and on from there. That's just a good way to um, start um, reading. Uh, you can go, like, you know, do it that way. Um, so we can go to Proverbs now and we're going to read Proverbs 1 for today. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your word. A proverb woman needs yes. an Ephesians man. Amen. It's at the... It's right at the song. Okay. Oh, right okay, chapter one. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, judgment, and equality, to give your prudence to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and increase learning and a man of understanding will attain wise counsel. To understand a proverb woman and a in gentlemen, the words of a wise and their riddles. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. My son, hear the instructions of your father and do not forsake the law of your mother, for they will be a graceful ornament on your head and chains about your neck. My son, if sinners entice you, do not consent. If they say, come with us, let us lie and wait to shed blood. Let us lurk securely for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them alive like show and whole, like those who go down to the pit. We shall find all kinds of precious possessions. We shall fill our houses with spoil. Casting your lot among us, let us all have one purse. My son, do not walk in the way with them. Keep your foot from their path. For their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird. But they lie and wait for their own blood. They lurk secretly for, secretly for their own lives. So are the ways of everyone who is greedy for gain. It takes away the life of its owners. Wisdom calls aloud outside. She raises her voice in the open squares. She cries out in the chief at the openings of the gates in the city she speaks her words how long you simply ones will you love simplicity for scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge turn at me rebuke surely i will pour out my spirit on you i will make my words known to you because i have called and you have refused turn to um shawnee's book of proverbs and um see how it breaks it down yeah. And to find it. Proverbs is this book. Proverbs. Yeah. Read it. If it's if it's in God's will, it will happen, and nothing will stop it. If not, God has a better plan. Have peace, knowing this. That was before I came. Okay. Let's Proverbs sixteen nine. Mm -hmm. Amen. Proverbs. Thank you, Lord. Seventy-five. Proverbs one Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The bottom part. Tell okay. Us. And just read like uh... the purpose of writing down these proverbs was to teach people foundational principles of wisdom, discipline, and success, and doing what is right, just, and fair. The first step to attaining this kind of wisdom is the hardest: trusting and showing reverence or fear for God. This means admitting that we need help and allowing God to guide and care for us. 
Wisdom is pers personified here, calling out to all who could choose to follow her. There is no real secret obtaining wisdom. All we have to do is ask for it. Mm -hmm. If you need wisdom, ask our generous God and he will give it to you. Mm. He will not rebuke you for asking. Mm. Yeah. Unlike experience, which we will never get until after we need it. God's wisdom is available as you soon as you are that. willing to listen and obey his plans. Amen. Like when you are in, going through a problem, you could just ask God for the answer rather than mm -hmm. having to go and bump your head and mm -hmm. bump your head and bump your head. Because yeah, then you got to get experience and then he'll tell you. Yeah. Rather than it's, just going to God first and mm -hmm. he'll literally prevent you from falling. My Amen. mama always say God warns you before destruction. That's what we're talking about. Wisdom. God will always warn you before destruction. You just got to see the signs. Yeah. We just got to walk in our calling. The Lord is magnificent. This is Amen. so amazing. I don't mean just do it by myself or my love with the people that love God Almighty. And then, you know, do it with myself, you know, with my, my own relationship with God Almighty. Mm -hmm. But this is a beautiful um, experience. All of you guys wanted to read, you know, with me and yes. tune in with Thank God you. Almighty. Mm -hmm. So I'm very grateful. Um, anybody want to read something else so that I can pray? Um, I wanted you to... I can read my devotions. You can read your devotions. I just read your devotions. Because you're saying you're probably ready. Yes, ma'am. This one? Oh, you have. No, I wanted to know. I wanted to know some others right one another. Like, I know probably where you're talking. Yeah, yeah, they know, they know too. Well, the ones that do make on my live, they know that you're supposed to... Ladies, cover your glory if you're able to. If not, you still are covered. Um, Because I'm covered. Today, October 1st? Yes. Yes, baby. That was something we was taught and learned. If you don't want to stick to it, that's fine. It has nothing to do with what God has for you. But so today, devotion. Mm -hmm. October 1st says, Worship me only, for God is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, mm. yeah, just dwelling in an un un unapproachable light. I am taking care of you. I am not only committed to caring for you, but I am also, also absolutely capable of doing so. Rest yeah. in me, my weary one, for this is a form of worship. Yes, Lord. Through self-flagellation has gone out of style. Many of my children drive themselves like racehorses. They whip themselves into action, ignoring how exhausted they are. They forget that I am sovereign and that my ways are higher than theirs. Mm -hmm. Underneath their, their driven service. Sovereign God. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. They may secretly yes. resent me as a harsh taskmaker. Thank you, Jesus. Under, let me repeat that. Underneath their driven service, they may secretly resent me as a harsh taskmaker. Yes, By driven yes. service, I feel like he's talking about when we just want to follow our own plan and not yeah. doing it to God. We whip ourselves into action. Even we put ourselves it, there and then we got to go down. And we blame down. God yeah. thinking no. that he's the harsh taskmaker. Their worship of me is lukewarm because I am no longer their first love. My invitation never changes. Come to God all all you who are weary and he will give you rest Thank worship you. me by resting peacefully in his presence mm -hmm. which god will bring about his own time god the blessed and only ruler the king of kings the lord of lords who alone is immortal and who lives in an unapproachable life whom no one has seen or can see to him be honor and my forever amen amen, amen. that was good Lord, we you thank read you no that's no, i just read one of you you gotta read oh for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are his ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken your first love. Come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Yes. That's the scriptures. Mm -hmm. He's close to the broken hearted. First of my The servant's inheritance, whatever you do, it do it heartedly as the Lord and not to the men, for you serve the Lord Christ. So if you play a role of serving, or like, you know how we go to, to the restaurant and they're serving you well, mm -hmm. like, that's a sign of God, is you, you also serving God. So as much as you serve, like say if I serve you well, I serve you well. I'm serving the Lord's well by serving well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Moses Lord gave God. up all earthly glory and possessions to our death. Yes. Yes. Yes, I get it. Moses gave up all earthly glory and possessions to identify with God's people. He was the adopted child of Egyptian princess, but gave up the kingdom and crown of Egypt to be a child of God. Moses gave up the royal scepter to be rich in God's law. The prophet was known as a shepherd, a leader, a deliverer, a lawgiver, and a judge. But Moses said, Oh my Lord, I'm your servant. In Exodus chapter 4, verse 10. And when he died, God spoke of him as Moses, my servant. In Joshua 1, chapter 1, verse 2. When we reach heaven, there will be no opportunity to brag of your exploits, but you will have eternity to rejoice in how you lived your life. 
for Jesus because his grace in you. Grace means the blessings that we don't deserve. Mm -hmm. Blessed is the blessings. one who finds wisdom. Yeah, mm -hmm. by the grace of God, I'm blessed. Yes, God. Trust yeah. in the Lord with all your hearts. It may take a lifetime to accumulate wealth, but it can it can Man. vanish in the blink of an eye. While the Bible teaches us to store up treasures in heaven, the greater treasure is knowing that we will be rewarded by his every presence forevermore. forevermore. The value Ooh, of wisdom. That's deep. I was Thank just you, writing Lord about Jesus. that. And it says, um, you'll be rewarded in heaven, like the greatest treasure is that. I was writing in my journal the other day and it says, everybody in life feels like it's a race, yeah. but you're not supposed to race for a worldly prize. You're supposed to do it for the treasure that's in heaven. Okay. And your worldly desires, those have to come second. So you, your first desire should always be the prize of the treasure in heaven. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. All right, let us go before the Lord, baby. So we want us live for like an hour, I believe. <laughs> I'm grateful that everyone is on here with us in tune. I pray that everyone was able to read, get a great message and a blessing to feed their souls. And we just thank you so much. Um, Lord, we thank you. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Amen. We thank you, Lord God. Thanks. We love you, Lord. We honor you, oh Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. We thank you. We thank you. Yes. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our dead doers. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for another day. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you will forgive us all for our sins, and we we'll repent right now, Lord God. We all repent. The ones on my live, my babies that I'm with right now, oh God, my precious dear little sister, oh God, look upon her soul, oh God, her mind, Lord God, her mental, oh God, her health, oh God, her financial, oh God. Her friend, Lord God, her, her heartbeat, oh Lord, take our hearts, oh God, and heal them. We ask you in yes. the name of Jesus that you will take our hearts and cleanse our hearts, oh God. We ask you, oh Lord, that you will guide us and lead us, Lord God, in the right direction that we shall go, oh God. We pray, only Father, for any soul, Lord God, that needs special prayer, oh God. I pray that you will heal them, oh God, and grant them whatever they may desire. A few people, oh God, is um, asking for prayer, whatever it is they may stand in need of. Yes. You sit up high, you look down low. We ask in the name of Jesus that you will grant it to them right now. Yes. Give them peace. Peace, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. If it's uh, financial, Lord God, give them finances, oh God, in order for them to do what they need to do, oh God. If it's uh, work, Lord God, give them the work that they need, oh God. You said um, a woman build up a house, but a fool pluck it down, oh God. Encourage the women, oh God, that feel like they have lost it, oh God, to build back up and to be strong and bold for you, oh God, and you will set everything else in order. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We just thank you so very much that we can call upon your name and feed our souls with your word, Lord. Help us, oh Lord, for the understanding of your word, breaking it down, Applying it to our lives, oh God, yes. and that we seek you in everything that we do, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for the youth on today, Lord God. I pray a special prayer for my children, oh Lord, all six of them, oh God, the youngest to the oldest, oh God, and any woman on my life that may have a child, oh God, that may be a single parent, oh God. I pray, Heavenly Father, for blessings, oh God, not just blessings, Lord God, but that you will give us what we stand in need of, oh God, to stand against the wild of the enemy, oh God, because he is trying to attack, but he has no power because you are the judge yes. of all judge. You are the God of all gods, and I trust you, Lord, and I put my trust in you, Lord. I trust you, Lord, and I put my I trust in you, Lord. Yep. Have your way right now, oh God. Yep. Have your way right now, oh God. Take away anything that may be hurting, oh God. Heal the bones, oh Lord, of sore backs, oh God. Have your way, oh God. Have your way with our mother, oh Lord. We thank you, Lord God, that she is seeking help, oh God. Look upon our father, oh God. Anybody that got a father on my life, oh God. Anybody that has death, oh God, have your way, Lord God. You said in Ecclesiastes 3, it's a time for death and it's a yes. time for life. We thank you for life today. Hallelujah. Yes, have your way right now. Now, Lord God, with everybody, every soul, Lord God, that's connected to us. Have your way with my baby, sister, God, continue to build her up, oh God. Every sibling of mine, oh Lord, the good one, the bad one, oh God. I pray, Lord God, against that enemy, Lord God, and we rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. Have your way, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. We bleed the blood of Jesus. We do not fight against flesh and blood. We bleed peace, oh God. Have your way. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Have your way, Lord, today. Anyone that may be feeling discouraged, nasty, moody, Lord God, remove it and give them the power of your blood. Hallelujah. Please. 
I thank you, Lord, thank for you, all Lord. that you do and all that you're about to do. I pray for prosperity, oh God. I pray for wealth, oh God. Have your way with every pastor, Lord God, that give us the word and break it down, Lord God. Yes, Lord. I pray, Lord thank God, you, God, for the good ones and the bad ones, the ones that take advantage of the people, oh God, and that discourage them, oh God, because I've witnessed this, oh Lord, because I pray that you just have your way. Have your way, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for the minister on today, my sister's uh, Godmother. We thank you for our precious soul. We thank you for our friend Kiki, Lord God. We thank you for Naya. Imani, oh God, look upon her, Lord God, at her home, her, her parents, oh Lord, them coming and going to and fro, dear Heavenly Father, all the young women, oh God, across the world, have your way right now. We thank you, Lord God, and we surrender to you, oh Lord. I thank you, Lord God, that you give us the power, and we're asking you for the power, grant it back to us, oh God, and that we will embrace it and use it the right way and not the wrong way, oh God, but that we will set the correct example, Lord God, because it's not for us, oh God, because it's already in us. It's for someone else, oh Lord. Have your way right now. Help us, oh God, to be more mindful, meet more kindness, and not to be... Uh, Nasty, Lord God, not to be of this world, but to be of you, Lord God. Yes. Help us all and allow us to forgive ourselves, forgive others immediately, oh Lord, as you forgive us when we ask you for forgiveness. We pray, Lord, for the doctors, the nurses. We pray, Lord God, for every judge that have to deal with my family members, my big brothers, my baby sisters, oh God. Please look upon them in court. Anyone on my life that has anyone that is incarcerated, look upon their souls yes, and the Lord. people they interact with, oh God. Look upon those correctional officers, oh God, the ones that are good, the ones that are bad, oh God. We pray, Lord God, for the police officers, oh Lord. Look upon them, Lord God, the good ones the bad ones oh lord we pray lord god for um jonathan Jonathan, Lord God, look upon his soul, Lord God, right yes, now. Lord. I pray, Lord God, for his mental, oh God. Yes, I pray, Lord God, for his soul, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that you will redirect, Lord God, yes, Lord. Uh, for your riches and glory. Hallelujah. Have your way right now from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet, oh God. Mm -hmm. My sister, love him, oh God. And I love who I love, Lord God. Have your way right now with the men, oh God. Yes, Not being uh, prejudiced, but the black men, oh God. Have your way in the name of Jesus. All men of culture, Lord God. Look upon the city that we live in. Look upon the state that we stay in. Yes. Look upon every soul, Lord God. The teachers, the schools, oh Lord, the children that come from every different um, household, dealing with the world like we deal with the world. We pray, Lord God, for protection and covering, oh God. We pray that your will be done. Our will don't work. And yes, we thank Lord. you, Lord, that we yes. can call upon you for help and everything that we stand in need of. And we trust in you, Lord God. Continue in prayer, Sean. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Holy, holy, holy. Lord, Lord God, God Almighty, who was, who is, who is to come. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God Almighty, who was, who is, who is to come. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was, who is, who is to come. Oh God, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord. Yes, lift your name, oh God. We just continue to thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord God. We just want to rejoice how good you are, Lord God. Yes, you are. I really have nothing to really ask for, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord God. Please, Lord God, continue to have you surrender every day. My sure comes, Lord God, and I may not sin again, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Thank you, Lord God. Just thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for freedom, Lord God. I'm so happy to be with my son lord god thank i'm you, just very thankful lord god thank um, you lord. you heard every cry thank you i love the lord, lord. Yes. oh i sure do love the lord he heard my cry and pity on this earth for us to use as our tools, Lord God. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to privilege to serve you, Lord God. We are in you, Lord God. We worship you, Lord God. I pray for everybody that's just confused right now, that's empty right now, that's depressed or sad right now, that's mm -hmm. facing grief from a family member passing, Lord God. Mm -hmm. Allow us to just mm -hmm. rejoice that everybody went home, Lord God. Allow us to recognize what's true and what's not, Lord God. Allow you to just... Be in our lives. We surrender. We welcome you into our life, Lord God. We want your will over our lives, Lord God. We want your will over our lives, Lord God. Please, Lord God, just guide us. You know, let, let, let us accept the guidance. Let, let us hear the Spirit, Lord, Lord God. Allow us to just stay focused in the Word of God. Allow us to not just put anything 
before you, Lord God. Please bless our family, Lord God. Bless our family, Lord God. We're sorry for asking for anything that we ask for, Lord God, because you provide, Lord God. We don't even need to ask, but you say we shall ask. So some may be scared to ask, Lord God. Allow us to not be scared to ask, Lord God. Allow us to have humility in our heart when we come before you, Lord God. Let's just humble ourselves, Lord God. And we're just so thankful. We're so we're so happy. We're just so at peace, Lord God. To just be in one another's presence. Sharpen iron, sharpen iron. What's that? Yeah. Iron, sharpen mm-hmm. iron. So Lord God, allow us, to, allow us to be around like-minded people. Mm-hmm. Like it's just sharpen us more to be for you. Yeah. Disciples, um, <laughs> disciple me, follow um, a believer of yes. Jesus Christ is Lord, Lord God. Allow us to just not put anything before you, Lord God. We surrender all day, every day, Lord God. Every Please, day. Lord God, put a muzzle over our mouths. So yes. we want to speak quick to gossip, quick to react, quick to speak. Quick to, just quick to be quick to listen. Quick yes, to listen. And so be Lord, yes, Lord God, let's just re- redirect, Lord God. Just redirect. Just will us, and Lord God, we're not perfect. Thank you, thank you Lord. Lord. Thank and we don't Jesus. have to be perfect thank to serve you, you Lord God. Thank you yes. for dying for our shortcomings on that Thank cross, Lord God. Thank you for dying for on that cross, Lord. Thank you for dying for me. Yes. yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for dying for me. Thank you, Lord God. And we ask you for forgiveness. Thank you, Lord. We repent our sins, anything that we've done that we will do in the future. Like, we thank you for forgiving us. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. But we ask that you continue to guide us, allow us to guide our steps, Lord. Continue to work on us. Allow, us, allow our words to speak to other people on this live, God. We ask that you help them where they're struggling. Lord. We ask that you forgive them. We ask that you help them come to you, God, on their own time. Help us to be able to be a light to show them the power that you show mm-hmm. us, Lord. But we just thank you. We yield all of our problems to you. We place them at your feet. And we know that once we pray about them, they're handled, God. We thank you for handling them. We thank you in advance for everything that you've done. Thank you for the lessons and the blessings, Lord. Thank you for the good, the bad, and the ugly. Lord, thank you for everything, God. Thank you for allowing us to be here. Thank you for the beds we sleep on. Thank you for the roofs over our head. Thank you for the activity of our limbs, God. Thank you for your kindness and your mercy, God. Thank you for the toothbrush. Thank you for the running water, God. Thank you for the lights. Thank you for allowing us to be here. Some people didn't make it, make it to be here today. Some people are not here with us anymore. Some people didn't wake up this morning, God. We thank you. We just thank you. Thank you for your words. Thank you for allowing us to see this word. Thank you for lead it and, and disciple with each other, Lord. Thank you for sisterhood. Thank you for forgiveness, Lord. Just thank you for everything. We can never thank you enough. You're so amazing. You're so kind. You're so merciful, God. We just thank you. Thank you, God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, thank you God. We place all of our problems at your feet. We thank you in advance for handling them. Thank you for clearing the lawsuit, God. Thank you for healing the injury, God. Mm. Thank you for curing the cancer, God. Mm. Thank you for allowing our people to become free Mm. again. Thank you for her freedom. Thank you you for healing. Thank you for everything, God. We can never thank you enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Give myself away. We trust in you. We know that you're going to plan, God. Thank you. Can you use us, God? Give myself away so you can use me. Give myself away so you can use me. Give myself away. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes, Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, our strength. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you. Yes, Lord. I just want to. um. Thank God for allowing me to be around uh, many beautiful anointed women in the Lord. Yes. And I just want to uh, I just want to just just yes. I just want to thank God for bringing me here. I just want to thank God for blessing my heart. Blessing my heart with your wisdom and knowledge, Lord. I've been asking you to help me, Lord. Yes. And I really thank you for bringing me here. I need to be here, Lord, to get closer to you. And I feel your presence upon me. Hallelujah. <laughs> I ask that you please help me to not be to not be scared of your presence, Lord. I want to accept you fully, Lord. Yes, and I'm happy. I'm happy to be in the presence of so many anointed women, Lord, because I feel you and I accept you wholeheartedly, Lord. I thank you and I thank you and I pray that you bless every single person in this world, Lord. And please, Lord, keep all of you guys. Listen in your spirit and bless all the beautiful women around me. I thank you for Krishan, Lord. I thank you for such a beautiful spirit being in my life, Lord. I thank you for not for not giving me away, Lord. I thank you for always bringing me back because, Lord, you won. You you show us the way, Lord. And I'm just so thankful. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Yes, thank you. Thank you, God. 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 Th
We thank you so much, dear Heavenly Father. You guys better have a beautiful day on purpose. Hallelujah. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. I pray that everyone got a message and received the blessing. Thank you for joining my live. Continue to stay prayed up. Pray for someone else. Pray for those who may be nasty towards you. Give it to Lord God Almighty, and he will direct that path. Um, I just thank God Almighty. Continue to move forward, guys. Don't let nobody tell you they, they are they are bigger and you are littler. There's no big eyes, little yous over here. Thank you, God. That was powerful. Amen. Thank y'all for joining us. <laughs> yeah. Get up off the knees. <laughs> <laughs> I feel how God, good got in. Oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus, for this beautiful woman. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's what he did. That's what he did. Won't he do it? Got us all crying. Look at that. It's naughty before him. It's the mm -hmm. best. It's better than liquor. Right. This goes better than any anything in the world. Any worldly desires. I love y'all. God bless you all. Bless you, Z. Yeah. Banga, baby. Z, baby. Oh, they got my G, baby. Z, baby. Z, baby. Y'all see what the Y'all see what the juice of the Lord do? <laughs> all these women. Y'all know, like women. I was, I was like, let me stop. Y'all have a good day, though. God we bless ball, you all. We ball, we ball. <laughs> Convert. <laughs> evolve, evolve, evolve. Oh. Thank you, Lord. My baby. Boy. Say it again. Thank you. I should have put my tooth in, huh? No, you're not funny. I should have put my grill in, huh? Come as you are. We good, baby. Come as you are, my love. You have a great day. <laughs> rejoice in the Lord always. always. And again, I say, rejoice. Bless you all. Wow, that was very positive. I love that. All right, you guys saw the live. Definitely let me know your thoughts. And thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.